It's where you go to bike, hike, and stroll miles of pathways over more than 7,000 acres of parkland. A place to go explore rivers and fish their bountiful waters. Natural places to go marvel at magnificent wildlife while you play outdoors and go wander charming communities. Find all this and more at Destination Downriver. Give it a go. Today's podcast is presented by MarketInsights.us with the podcast on YouTube produced by the City of Taylor's Media Center. Thank you for the generous support of our community sponsor. When your destination is beyond downriver, let Martinson Family of Funeral Homes help you and your family. With locations in Trenton, Allen Park, Maybe, Rockwood, and Monroe, their staff is available 24-7 at 734-671-5400. For more information, visit martinson.com. Thank you to our team sponsor, Allegra marketing, print, and design. Let Allegra assist you with your print, mail, design, and signs. Locate in Wyandotte, Michigan, or call 734-284-5330. Hi, I'm Carl Zymack, and welcome to Destination Downriver for December 2023. When Destination Downriver got started a few years ago, there was a clear need to shift the narrative about the Downriver region. After literally decades of bad press, Downriver had become something of a punchline. Changing perceptions about any region can be a very heavy undertaking. Some viewed this area as an industrial wasteland. Turning that perception into a visitor's playground is, in a word, challenging. One method that's been successfully employed to help drive this image shift is storytelling. For too long, others have controlled the narrative about Downriver. It was time for us to take that task on. This is by no means a one and done process, but a strategic layering of stories on different platforms. Destination Downriver has honed its storytelling by creating more places to platform these stories, like this monthly podcast, creating image-based visual immersions on under the radar Michigan social media videos, and by developing marketing content that's centered on the people, places, and events that make the Downriver region what it is today. Joining our tour through what Destination Downriver has done and unveiling some opportunities that are on the horizon for 2024 are Ron Heinrich, the CEO and president of the Southern Wayne County Regional Chamber, and Rich Williams, Destination Downriver Program Manager. All three of us will be back in one moment. And we are back with Ron and Rich. Gentlemen from Destination Downriver, we're gonna be looking back a little bit at uh, our telecasts of, uh, of, not telecasts, but well, podcasts, podcasts. Uh, <laughs> of uh, Destination Downriver for 2023. We're gonna probably give you a peek ahead for 2024, but Ron, let's start with you. Mm-hmm. And good morning and a happy holiday good to morning, you. Good morning, Carl. You, yeah. had your, you had your big chamber outing last night. We did. So um, before we get into this, yeah. why don't we get into that? Tell us how Yeah, I'll just tell you briefly. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I've been the president of the Southern Wayne mm-hmm. County Regional Chamber for just about seven years now. Mm-hmm. Um, in the seven years I've been here, this was the most successful celebration of Downriver event that we've ever had. Uh, it, we had almost 300 people, every state rep, uh, I think every county commissioner in mm-hmm. Southern Wayne County, mm-hmm. um, almost every mayor was mm-hmm. there, uh, Congresswoman Dingo, Congressman Sri Tanadar, uh, you know, a lot of great business people were mm-hmm. there, small business owners, nonprofit executives. It was a blast. It was at the Girls Hill Country Club, and we truly brought our entire region together to celebrate the success and the partnerships of the entire Down River region mm-hmm. that make this community so special. For you personally, when you're, when you're putting together that annual event, how do you quantify the success? Is it just by the number of people who come or the variety yeah. of people who come? What, what's your take? Right? No, uh, it, well, a couple of things. I, I mm-hmm. agree with you about the variety of people. Obviously, oh. that's something I think that's very special about the Down River community mm-hmm. is that we have a very diverse uh, community, mm-hmm. a diverse yeah. population. Mm-hmm. But the other thing is, is the camar- camaraderie and the feeling of unity throughout the region that comes out of this event. 
Uh, I've never seen, I, mean, I, I have seen this, but there were so many smiles at the event yesterday. <laughs> you know, yeah, the mayor of, the new mayor of Rockwood, mm -hmm. uh, Troy Cox, you yeah. know, the, uh, the, the new mayor of Flat Rock was there, Stephen mm -hmm. Beller. You had all these state reps, both Republican and Democrat from mm -hmm. all over the area, including mm -hmm. Monroe County, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, rep elected officials from E-Course and everybody, even though there's like people on different sides of the aisle, yeah. everybody was celebrating, they were smiling, they were hugging each other. Mm -hmm. And that's what Downriver is all about. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what makes that event so special because it continues to, you know, showcase the, the uh, camaraderie that makes up the Downriver region. Okay, so let, me, so let me put you right on the spot there because I want you to repeat that. The Republicans were hugging the Democrats were. and the Democrats were they hugging were. the Republicans? Oh my gosh, Rich, do you wonderful. believe that for a second? <laughs> and only in Down River. <laughs> Actually, and I'm not, I'm not making that up. It's the truth. I hear you. And Ryan, I, yeah. it, was, it was a very collegial and, and, and fun event. I mean, and, and mm -hmm. it was a great setting for it too. I mean, the, yep. the Gross Hill Country Club is pretty nice. Oh, yeah. it is very yeah. nice. And we brand yeah. it as a Destination Down River sure. event. We have the sure. Destination Down River stamp mm -hmm. on the, you know, the flyers right. and everything. Right. So mm -hmm. it, it it was really special and mm. we loved it. it was well, fantastic. I'm glad yeah. you guys had a good time. Uh, Ron, let's start with you here, okay? Uh, you started uh, the year off with quite a media spotlight by scoring a network feature story about Destination Downriver that aired in early January on WDIV's morning and evening news shows. When I say Downriver, what do you think of? How about bustling downtowns and recreation? Surprise, see why there's a vibrant new energy spreading from River Rouge to Brownstown. Look, you got the water, you're close to the airport, you've got the freeways. Every time I come here, look, I feel like I'm I belong to this city. There's a big push to rebrand this entire region, one story at a time. Destination Downriver. Tell us a little about what sort of impact that had on exposure to the region, and you might want to define what it was about. Yeah, uh, and feel free to cut me off, Carl, because I, I can probably <laughs> go on for a long time, and I don't want to do that to you. We... Um, but you think about the different things that happened mm -hmm. this year in terms of in terms of media exposure and overall exposure for the Down River communities, mm -hmm. the 18 very unique uh, communities that make up this region. Uh, Sue Trussell was on WDET's uh, show with, with um, uh, Stephen, Stephen, uh, Stephen, Stephen Henderson. Henderson. Thank right. you. Mm -hmm. um, Stephen Henderson's a great guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Mary Bowling from Down River mm -hmm. Lane Greenways was on WXYZ for a special uh, mm -hmm. as we were promoting our annual Tour de Tom bike ride with mm -hmm. Under the Radar Michigan. Mm -hmm. And then speaking of that, uh, we had a TV show again this year mm -hmm. with the 10-time Emmy award-winning show mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Under the Radar Michigan with right. Tom Dalbin and Jim mm -hmm. Edelman. Mm -hmm. um, but going to the WDIV story that you mentioned, uh, Christy McDonald, who's mm -hmm. uh, an anchor now mm -hmm. with WDIV Local 4, right. um, and she does special reports, mm -hmm. uh, she has become a tremendous friend and ally to the Down River region. Mm -hmm. um, I met her at the Mackinac Policy Conference back in, I would say, I'm going to say 2018. Mm -hmm. um, and I cornered her after the, after the, uh, the conference was over mm -hmm. and took the opportunity to share with her about the Down River community. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's fair to say that she hadn't spent a whole lot of time in the Down River communities at that point. Mm -hmm. um, and she was interested. So she, uh, she started emceeing our Women of Achievement Awards that mm -hmm. the Chamber puts on every year. Um, so we brought her Down River for that event. Um, but she kind of got a taste and she wanted to, she wanted to get more. Mm -hmm. um, and so she, we, we talked her into doing a, a feature story, a very special feature story featuring Destination Down River. And that aired in January, as you mentioned. It was a, a three and a half, four minute uh, piece. Mm -hmm. It was that almost was five minutes. Almost five yeah. minutes. That Which was, is quite a lengthy it's a piece. Lot. It's yes. like, on news, television you don't show. see that very yeah. often. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that aired during prime time mm -hmm. uh, on WDIV. Mm -hmm. And the exposure, you know, you think about the hundreds of thousands of viewers throughout mm -hmm. um, the entire Metro Detroit region, going up to like Port Huron, that yeah. area, yep. you know, all the viewers of D WDIV, mm -hmm. um, that's incredible exposure. Mm -hmm. And it was a very well done story mm -hmm. by Christy McDonald. But in addition to that, she also, on WDIV streaming platforms, mm -hmm. she did a half hour special uh, interviewing me and some other people. Sue Trussell. Um, you know, about Sue mm -hmm. Trussell about the Down River region. Mm -hmm. And that's that's prob maybe even more exposure, mm -hmm. you know, if you think about mm -hmm. the viewership of the streaming platforms. Sure. So Christy McDonald, WDIV, 
um, you know, all the media, definitely under the radar, Michigan, mm -hmm. have uh, really played a huge role in not only putting Downriver on the mm -hmm. map, but making Downriver a destination, not just for tra travel and tourism, but for small business, mm -hmm. entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. and talent mm -hmm. in the region. Downriver's really uh, more than just on the map. It's a destination. Rich, what type of feedback did you get from that show? Was it oh, it, it, you know, it, as Ron said, it, it was it, it was great exposure that you, normally you'd have to pay a PR firm a ton of money <laughs> to engineer that kind of a, sure. a, a, yeah. a, a exposure opportunity. Right. Um, and I, I, the feedback we got is tremendous. Mm -hmm. The problem is you can't, you can't rely on one and done. Mm -hmm. One great story or one documentary isn't gonna do it for us. Yeah. Right. You have to keep your foot on the pedal mm -hmm and continually tell what's mm -hmm. going on and mm -hmm. talk about all the great things that are happening down here. So the Christy McDonald story is, is a great one. Ron, I know, is still continuing to work her for mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. I ran into her in an event in Detroit and she's interested in coming and doing a follow-up. Mm -hmm. So we just have to keep the, uh, the heat on to keep that dialogue going because it can't happen on one time. It's gotta happen a lot of well, times. And I'll mention, mm -hmm. as a part of our agreement with Under the Radar Michigan, mm -hmm. which, you know, the viewership is definitely in the hundreds of thousands, mm -hmm. you know, because they go, sure. I think their show airs mm -hmm. in states throughout the country, and plus all of Canada. Right. Yeah. Um, so we do a monthly video um, or broadcast, um, I'm trying to think of how to word it, but a social mm -hmm. media vi media yeah. video with yeah. Tom Dalvin. Yeah. That's still happening every mm -hmm. single month. Every we just month. aired it uh, just a couple, like a week ago yep. for, for December and for January. Right. Um, so that's, we have a multi-year partnership mm -hmm. with Under the, Ra Under the Radar mm -hmm. that's not going away. Mm -hmm. And people don't realize how important things like Facebook Live, those yep. kind of things, okay, are because the, the media services are so multi-platform yes. now. Yes. And it's not about doing an A-plus job on one platform. It's about doing that A job or that B-plus job across all those platforms. And you have to hit all those things. You know, the TV just isn't the end-all, be-all. Radio isn't yeah. the end-all, be-all. You have to be on all of them, and those mm. two guys do a tremendous job. Yeah, and actually, you remind me, Carl, the mm. one thing I, I failed to mention was mm. that we've been on uh, WJR, mm -hmm. which is, you know, as you know, a very popular oh, yeah. AM radio station, yeah. 760 AM, mm. um, multiple times mm. over this past year. Right. Um, you know, uh, Dave Lorenz, who's now retiring, but sure. the travel director for the state of Michigan, mm -hmm. uh, he's interviewed me several times. Mm -hmm. I think he's probably had Sue Trussell and yep. Liz Henley mm -hmm. on yep. the show. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, that's significant exposure. Mm -hmm. And again, we're talking about the businesses of Downriver, right. the 18 communities. Right. Um, we're talking about the destinations. We're talking about why should talent and entrepreneurs locate their, um, you know, their their businesses here mm -hmm. uh, in the Downriver region. So there's economic development. There's community development. Not just travel and tourism. Destination Downriver truly um, is an all-encompassing effort that's making, you know, paying huge dividends for this entire region. And on a clear night on JR, you might be hearing them in the West Virginia mountains <laughs> or, uh, or on, the, uh, on the far west side of Iowa. Yeah, uh, <laughs> they have a powerful tower. So, they really yeah. do have a powerful tower. Rich, you've been, uh, you've been involved with this since the early inception. Yes. Okay? And uh, how have you seen things evolve? You're one of the guys on the on the basic foundation <laughs> level of shows like this, yeah. uh, creating scripts and, Usually and behind scheduling the scenes, people. <laughs> and more comfortable doing that. Uh, when you look at from its infancy to where it is now and where you're going, how do you, how do you view that? Well, and I said this in the mm -hmm. uh, thing I did for you in, in, in your annual. Mm -hmm. uh, we've evolved, we've learned. Mm -hmm. I mean, frankly, I've learned a lot. Uh, and it's not like I'm an amateur hour on marketing, but I'm an amateur <laughs> hour on uh, Downriver. I've learned an awful lot about Downriver. And one of the things that, that I've seen, it, we, we, we knew we had to tell a story that was different than people thought about this area. Mm -hmm. And the most uh, defining thing we've done in the last couple of years is make it highly visual. Mm -hmm. it, it, we can talk to a blue in the face about how great this area is, mm -hmm. But until they see it, until they can really kind of 
get into an experience in it. And whether that experience comes from watching something on uh, Tom and, uh, and Jim, uh, the yeah. UTR guys, mm -hmm. on their show or on their destination daycations that we mm -hmm. do on social media, mm -hmm. uh, or on, on one of these uh, vodcasts, mm -hmm. uh, it, it, the more we can show, the better off we're gonna be because people have this sort of mental image of what Down River is or they've been taught to believe it was. Mm -hmm. And that's, it was is what it was, mm -hmm. is is what it is right now. And mm -hmm. we're trying to take credit for that. But the better job we can do of showing mm -hmm. than, than just telling uh, has really uh, caused us to change, flip the script a little bit. Can I add something, Carl? Mm -hmm. um, sure. Because, uh, you know, Rich reminded me of something, brought up a lot of good points there. Um, you know, this is truly a grassroots effort, but it's not an amateur effort. Mm -hmm. um, the municipalities that are partnered with Destination Downriver, they're investing a significant amount of funds mm -hmm. into this effort, mm -hmm. and, and rightfully so, because this is a critical effort, I believe, I think we all believe, mm -hmm. uh, on behalf of this region. But um, we use those funds for, a, for you know, a lot of professional services, mm -hmm. and Rich mm -hmm. is, is a big part of that. Um, Rich is, you know, decades of experience <laughs> in marketing. Mm -hmm. So we hired, hired Rich, mm -hmm. um, and he comes with, to us from SMZ Advertising, which mm -hmm. is a very well-known, well-respected firm mm -hmm. that has done work for a lot of, you know, larger organizations, including the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Detroit Bureau. Convention Visitors Bureau. Um, and the reason we have been so successful in getting the WDIV, get, you know, the under the radar and mm -hmm. all the different things that we've done, including the, you know, the, the promotional mm -hmm. items that we've put out, um, you know, uh, Rich and, and, and the team put together um, some great material that we put in our annual Down River Community Guide that's mm -hmm. distributed to thousands of people throughout the region. Mm -hmm. um, it's, you know, it's because of expertise like Rich Williams mm -hmm. and everybody else that we've brought into this effort. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really important to say that, yes, this is a grassroots effort and it's everybody coming together in the region um, to truly have an impact, but it's not amateur. Mm -hmm. We are bringing in top level talent mm -hmm. to, to make this, um, you know, effort uh, a mm -hmm. strong one on behalf of our communities. Mm -hmm. Interesting because, yeah, you really have a, 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 a dual purpose there. You're not only pulling the, pulling the region up by the bootstraps, yeah. you're actually reaching higher yeah. to grab that expertise to take you even higher than that yep. To, the, yep. to the top of things. Yep. You've both been involved heavily in the downer region especially you, Ron, being the president of, this, of the chamber. Uh, how has this helped you in being one of the architects of this mission of shifting the narrative? And is, is the shift still about what it was 30 years ago when Heinz yeah. Prechter was talking about, <laughs> let's get rid of the word down, down river, river and change yeah. it to yeah. Metro yeah. Shores and all that stuff? Yeah. Uh, or is it about something a little bit different? How do you well, read it? So the, 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 my approach, um, and I think what it is about, is, is realizing that, um, yes, we are a very united region, mm -hmm. the 18 communities of Down River, but each community has its own special niche, um, its own personality, its own, its own needs, mm -hmm. you know, its own businesses, um, its own residents. And so it has its own special character to it. However, we're all, you know, as diverse as every one of our communities are, we're also extremely united as one downriver region. Um, so when in destination downriver, it's about understanding all those differences and having the ability to meet the needs of each individual community, because they're all different. Um, and then also at the same time, being able to approach this at a regional aspect, uh, you know, perspective um, and, and promoting the entire region. Um, and that, that can be a, Obviously, it can be a challenge, but um, I've talked to a lot of people throughout the state who are just com totally impressed by how unique our region is in that we have so many, so many diverse communities, but everybody comes together with the Down River Community Conference, mm -hmm. with the Southern Wayne County Regional Chamber. You know, a good example is last night's event, everybody mm -hmm. hugging each other and smiling. And, mm -hmm. you know, um, and so we're, there's nowhere else like Down River mm -hmm in the state of Michigan. Mm -hmm. And I've heard that from people from the west side of the state, from elsewhere, um, in the, you know, people that work in the state of Michigan government. Mm -hmm. they, they, are, they understand how unique we are and how, how special this region is. Um, mm -hmm. And so as Destination Downriver, 
we need to constantly approach the work that we do, understanding the, the individual needs mm -hmm. and differences of the communities, mm -hmm. but also um, as a united you know, community in the United region as well. Um, and so I think that's, that's what we do now. It's not about you know, changing the name. Mm -hmm. I think at this point, everybody's proud of Downriver. Mm -hmm. We don't wanna change the name. Mm -hmm. you know, it's special, it's unique. There's nothing else like it in Michigan and we need to be proud of who we are in the Downriver region, and that's what we're doing with Destination Downriver. You know, uh, treating everybody fairly, okay, when you're talking about such a diverse bunch of, you know, just the communities itself, extremely diverse. Tough, tough to juggle that. How do you um, feel? How, yeah. how you feel you're doing on that? Yeah. Um, well, so it's definitely a challenge, mm -hmm. um, but you know, I, I, I mean, it's a team effort. It's mm -hmm. so the, all the communities come together and they've, they've been doing that for years. Mm -hmm. And so I, you know, as much of a challenge as that could be, um, it, we're very unique mm -hmm. here in Down River. And the Down River Community Conference brings us all mm -hmm. together. The chamber brings mm -hmm. us all together. Um, and so I feel like we as a community are a shining example to the rest of the state of how truly diverse you know, individuals, groups, and communities can come together for the good of an entire region mm -hmm. and for the good of our state. Um, and we're, we're an example of that to the rest of the state. Rich, let, put let, on your marker. Let me just tag on okay, to that with one thing too. Yeah. You, you reminded me of some things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, when we did this, and it was probably what, three and a half, four years ago? Yeah, it's um, been about four years now. Yeah, uh, we first, and I, I, I've worked with uh, destinations uh, mm -hmm. from Traverse City to Detroit to the state of Michigan to golf courses and resorts. Mm -hmm. uh, I've never seen a group of communities work together like this. It's mm -hmm. a, this is a first for me. Now, Dave Lorenz once told me that, that he'd seen some, but not that many. Mm -hmm. And I, it dawned on me that we've really got something going here because since we started this, and it's a slow build for us because mm -hmm. we're going on a shoestring and there's not a lot of money and you know we're trying to do a few things really well. But I've watched some other ones come together and most notably, there's one called the Thumb Coast right now mm -hmm. up here in Port Huron. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're driven and paid for by the Port Huron uh, Convention and Visitors Bureau, mm -hmm. but it encompasses all those little communities around that didn't have the money and didn't have the expertise to market themselves. Now they're being marketed. Mm -hmm. So we're competing with a little bit of that. I mean, mm -hmm. Port Huron for a while was like Flint by the sea. I mean, it was a <laughs> tough area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they've, they've resurrected that and they've, they've brought along these little communities like Lexington and Fort Gratiot and all these little communities mm -hmm. that are around there mm -hmm. and doing exactly what we're doing. I mean, mm -hmm. I look at our little template that somebody copied what we're doing is what mm -hmm. they did. Yeah. Interesting. So, and that, that, that's a good point because other communities and other regions are learning from what, learning we're doing, from what we're doing here yeah. in Destination mm -hmm. Downriver. And I think that's also um, why it's so important that all of our 18 communities are also a supporter yeah. of Destination Downriver mm -hmm. because we can't go at it alone. Each individually, you know, number one, there's probably not the funding there or the expertise to mm -hmm. market each individual community, but it, we're so much stronger when we're united mm -hmm. as a region. Mm -hmm. And we understand our differences, we understand each community has its own needs and wants. Mm -hmm. But it, when we come at it as a united region, mm -hmm. we're going to be able to compete with the big dogs, you know, so to speak. And we're gonna be so much stronger in our efforts and we're gonna win mm -hmm. because of that. Rich, put on your marketing hat for a minute. Okay. What do you feel is the most important step that Destination Down River as a campaign has taken thus far? Well, I, I, the, the visual switch. Mm -hmm. I mean, when, when we first started out with this, it was uh, coming up with a brand. Mm -hmm. that's, mm -hmm. And that's, sure. that was the mission. Mm -hmm. That was it. Mm -hmm. And we, it, as I said, we evolved, and I, I got confirmation or affirmation on that. About a month ago, I was in a meeting with the people from Simcog, and um, the people I, they don't have any reason to kiss up to me. Mm -hmm. They said, you guys have done a great job of creating a brand for the region. Mm -hmm. That's the first time mm -hmm. I've heard somebody else say that, and mm -hmm. somebody that works with all the communities around this area, mm -hmm. but we're the only ones, as far as they knew, that had done something like that, so. Is there anywhere else, mm -hmm. I mean, think about it. I mean, each everywhere else you think of, it's a 
it's an individual community brand. Right. Even, you know, Traverse City, for example, yep, sure. or where else. Yep. But it's definitely in Metro Detroit. This area is the only regional brand downriver, mm -hmm. 18 communities. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, that's very unique. And like I said earlier, I think we're an example uh, to the rest of the state. Ron, through this, through this really intense storytelling that, that this campaign is doing, uh, really digging into different areas of downriver, if, these, if, if we weren't telling these stories, who would be? It's a good question. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, 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 that question would mm -hmm. probably make anyone sit and think for a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. If Destination Downriver wasn't telling our story, our mm -hmm. collective story as a region, mm -hmm. who would be? Mm -hmm. um, and as I mentioned, I mentioned the weaknesses of going at it alone, each mm -hmm. individual community, and how we're stronger when we're united as a region. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like it, Destination Downriver, I don't feel I know, was greatly needed mm -hmm. and it came at the right time and for so many reasons everybody thinks about travel and tourism which is very special or mm -hmm. very important obviously mm -hmm. but um, the governor is really focusing on increasing the population and attracting mm -hmm. talent to the region mm -hmm. we started working on that years before the governor's right. initiative right and because we mm -hmm. as downriver understood we need to be attracting talent mm -hmm. to this region mm -hmm. through destination downriver. Mm -hmm. We need to be attracting economic development, mm -hmm. right? We're, everybody's talking about the riverfront right now with mm -hmm. McLeod Steel, with the retiring coal-fired power plants mm -hmm. in River Rouge and Trenton. Um, Riverside Hospital is coming down in Trenton. Mm -hmm. uh, and then not only that, Taylor, Romulus, mm -hmm. you know, around the airport, the Aerotropolis region. Mm -hmm. um, we need to be focusing on economic development and attracting developers to this area. We have amazing small downtown districts, mm -hmm. Allen Park, mm -hmm. uh, Flat Rock is really growing. Of course, Wyandotte and mm -hmm. Trenton, mm -hmm. um, you know, places like that. Mm -hmm. um, Romulus has a, a, a downtown that's gonna be really growing, I think, mm -hmm. over the next couple of years. So we're focusing on attracting entrepreneurship and small businesses mm -hmm. and creative minds mm -hmm. to this region. And Destination Down River encompasses all of that. Mm -hmm. So if Destination Down River wasn't here, if they, if this collective coalition wasn't doing that, who would be? Mm -hmm. We can't rely on the Detroit Metro Convention of Visitors Bureau, Bureau right. to promote our 18 communities, even though they do a great job. Mm -hmm. They're great partners of ours, mm -hmm. but they're focusing on you know a five or six county region. Sure. Um, so destination downriver is needed. It's critical, mm -hmm. and I think it's truly paying dividends for for this region. Ron, what's the biggest optical obstacle to taking this to the next level? to take in a next step up here. Uh, Rich? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, well, <clears throat> uh, I can, engagement and mm. funding. Okay. Mm -hmm. Engagement is something uh, you, you have to earn and it's trust. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need more of the cities coming to us, the mm -hmm. DDA directors, the uh, mayors, saying we've got something cool, you should talk about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're really looking for stories. Mm -hmm. And we're digging out the ones we can, but uh, the best ones come from people that suggest them to us. I mean, mm -hmm. I just did one on Jim's Butcher Shop in, mm -hmm. in Flat Rock. Yeah, I, right. I'd never heard of Jim's Butcher Shop, but a lot of people had. This guy came that close to closing mm -hmm. in, in 2018. Mm -hmm. And it's an amazing story that if somebody hadn't turned me on to it, Liz Henley actually mm -hmm. did, uh, I would not have known about it, not, not have been able to play it out. Mm -hmm. uh, they were. They were about ready to go to, out of business because they were surrounded by big box stores. This right. is a small, very personal butcher shop. Right. Right. And somebody got together and put a Facebook campaign mm -hmm. to save them, and it worked. Wow. And it's a great ending, and it's a great story, and there's all kinds of stories like that. We just need people engaged with us to tell us what's going on, what's, what's mm -hmm. happening out in your area. I mean, at, at your event last night, I, I probably picked up ideas for four or five new stories. Mm -hmm. uh, Romulus is a great example. You know, they've mm -hmm. got a downtown that was a bunch of empty shops. Mm -hmm. they've, they've bought up some of those shops. They're creating a entrepreneurial hot zone over there mm -hmm. uh, with some of the programs they've got set up that are really uh, commendable mm -hmm. and really uh, timely because if you want to open a shop in Birmingham or if you want to open a shop in Royal Oak, you're going to pay through the nose for it or Northville. Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. But you have a chance to start a business down mm -hmm. here, any kind of business. And you have a nice takeoff zone for getting yourself a good living. Mm 
Mm. Uh, it doesn't work that way everywhere else. Right. You know, right. where you pay high rents and you don't have customer acceptance. One of the things that defines the small towns down here aren't the big box stores. They're great to have around, mm -hmm. but it's the little mom and pop places, the restaurants, the stores, the Jim's Butcher Shop places. Uh, you know, Ron, from a, from a chamber perspective, that's got to be a hard thing to balance because for every, uh, is it Jim's, Jim's Butcher Jim's Shop? Butcher Shop yeah. Jim's Butcher Shop in Flat Rock where they were able to save it and stuff like that. I know I was just talking to the people over at Ray's Meats, which has been around yeah. forever, yes. yeah, and, and, Taylor. and they're yep. closing in Taylor yep. for a lot of logical reasons. Yep. One, a basic, been doing this for a long time, yeah. really tired, time to very labor yeah. intensive, intensive atmosphere. Yeah. Yep. But yep. the other side of it is big box. Everybody's looking yep. at the bottom line. Big boxes do it cheaper. Yep. Uh, they beat us every which way. It's easier for them to invest in equipment changes, things yep. like that. Uh, it, it's kind of a sad conversation. Uh, it shouldn't be because yeah. the people at Ray's have to retire at some point some in time. Point. Yeah. But at the same yeah. time, that's gotta be, it's gotta be yeah. tough for a guy like you to look at because yeah. you're looking at a wide range of things. Yeah, that's a that's a really good point. And it, I will say it's a very tough time to be an entrepreneur mm -hmm. or a small business owner. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know any small business owner that would disagree with that. Mm -hmm. um, however, small business owners and entrepreneurs are tough. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. I mean, they are tough and they're brilliant and mm -hmm. they're creative. Um, and Downriver, I think, is, a, is the best place to open a small business or be an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. um, and the reasons for that is, number one, the communities truly come together yes. to support yep. small businesses mm -hmm. downriver. Mm -hmm. And we at the chamber have really stepped up our game mm -hmm. to ensure that we're providing the resources that small business owners need, that they have, you know, they know how to get access to capital. They can meet with a one-on-one -on -one mentor through mm -hmm. the chamber, write a business plan, uh, learn about marketing, learn about finances, you know, and, and doing taxes, you know, mm -hmm. things like that, accessing capital, as I mentioned. Um, and so we as a community, as a chamber, as municipalities, mm -hmm. um, you know, as residents and, and shoppers, I feel like we this region has really stepped up its game to support local downriver yep. and southern Wayne County small businesses. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're gonna open a small business, you wanna do it here where the community supports you in the downriver region. There's a tremendous amount of loyalty, customer loyalty in this area too. Yep. It's a very, very, at the end of the day, it's a very, very working class attitude. Yeah. The attitude has never changed. The, the region has yeah. changed and it's yep. evolved over the years, but the attitude is a supportive attitude. Yeah. Whether you're, whether you're in business, whether you're uh, in harm's way, yep. okay, people come yep. together. They support, downriver rights support other yeah. Down river people. Yeah, I uh, mm -hmm. I have a friend, um, you know, new fairly new friend mm -hmm. um, that moved here from uh, New Jersey, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I said, well, what's the biggest difference? He said, the people. <laughs> I mean, this community is so friendly. Mm -hmm. at Down River as a whole. Mm -hmm. the, she lives on Girls Hill, mm -hmm. um, but Down River as a whole, the community is so friendly, mm -hmm. so supportive. It was not like this where I came from, mm -hmm. and you know that that's a very unique story or sure. you know characteristic sure. of our region if you come down river we want you to be successful mm -hmm. and we want you to thrive we're doing i, I carl i mean mm -hmm. I, we're doing like gosh i feel like 10 ribbon cuttings every week <laughs> right now yeah. for small businesses mm -hmm. opening we just did well, one and with merrill debt in woodhaven what was the number that you had you, you told me about this we did a, a episode we actually figured mm -hmm. it out yeah it was yeah. like yeah. over mm -hmm. i can't remember what the, it was a phenomenal number of new business yeah. startups sure. it was hundreds sure. uh hundreds yeah. and I, yeah. I can't remember what the number was mm -hmm. um but it was incredible mm -hmm. uh, it's in terms of new businesses opening in the down river region mm -hmm. um and you know like i said the other day we were with mayor odette in mm -hmm. woodhaven and we opened up a uh, a new sushi restaurant mm -hmm. right on um allen road mm -hmm. um just uh uh, you know, south of west. Mm -hmm. um, and the owners were big smiles, you know, sure. huge smiles. They couldn't believe how supportive the community was. You know, the chamber was there, the mayor, the fire mm -hmm. chief, the mm -hmm. city council mm -hmm. people, the DDA director. Mm -hmm. We want businesses to thrive in the Down River region, and we're going to be there to make sure that that happens. Okay, so now looking 
somewhat ahead, I guess. Yeah. What are some of the potential opportunities that are coming up for Destination Downriver that you two are most excited about? And you guys can kind of toggle back and forth here if you want to. Uh, you want you want to start, Rich? Yeah, let me. I think one of the things that we are looking ahead to mm. is doing more of this. This this vodcast has become a real platform uh, mm. for us to talk about all kinds of topics and some really important ones. I mean, we had the bridge people on not long ago. Right, which how was how we tie into that yeah. uh, downriver is is important mm -hmm. because that's that's a you think about it, in our lifetime, how mm -hmm. many of us have seen a major project like that? Mm -hmm. It's right on the edge of Downriver. They, they like this area. They want to work with us. So we're trying to for, forge a partnership with people in uh, Canada to see mm -hmm. if we can't do more together on that bridge building. Mm -hmm. And when that all opens up and everything. Uh, but having these vodcasts, I don't want to call it a podcast, vodcasts, mm -hmm. Uh, every every month, having a new topic and having the right topic to talk about and the right people to talk to, is something we think is a huge opportunity for us because we have to build on it. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing we've got going is uh, our under the radar partnership, which, mm -hmm. as Ron said, has been very important for us because it allows us to show so many of the places and it allows people to experience it on TV and then say, eh, "I'd like to go to that restaurant. I'd mm -hmm. like to try that mm -hmm. out." Uh, and the fact that they realize we can't get by on one show a year, mm -hmm. so we're doing these monthly, mm -hmm. as Ron said, mm -hmm. visits. Mm -hmm. We just did one at a barber shop, of all mm -hmm. things, in Riverview. Mm -hmm. and, I, and at first I thought, a barber shop, everybody's got a barber shop. There's nothing unique about that. When I got to this barber shop, it was the most unique barber shop <laughs> I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. And it was great. And mm -hmm. it was great TV, great theater, great social media stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. But those are the kind of stories we want to talk about. And, mm -hmm. and I think the other thing uh, that we've got on the horizon are building on some of the things we've done this year, not just this vodcast, but the events. Mm -hmm. we, we've had two years of successful bike rides with Tom and Jim from Under mm -hmm. the Radar. But we're looking at some other events because mm -hmm. events are great because they attract people to come to an area and sample it. And when we, when we do an event down here, like the bike ride, it's not just riding your bike on the trails, which are great, but also experiencing the communities that we're riding through and stopping mm -hmm. at places, having lunch or having a drink at some place. In your notes, were there others that you wanted to touch upon? Yeah, you there are. Hey, you me, can ask let the me, questions. Let me refer to Why don't to my you notes. bring up the topic and Ron can speak at some of these. And I can, can I add to just mm -hmm. what sure, Rick said before we go to another topic, mm -hmm. but um, I agree with Rich that um, you know, partnerships mm -hmm. is, yes. I think, the most exciting part mm -hmm. of this of this mission. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, you think about we we the partnerships that we've created over the past several years. The YMCA is involved in Destination Downriver. Sure. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, we're working with you, Carl, mm -hmm. in the city of Taylor, mm -hmm. to do these monthly vodcasts sure. and in a mm -hmm. state of the art studio. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a lot of great partnerships and of course promoting our small businesses mm -hmm. and our destinations um, is going to continue to be a, a primary focus mm -hmm. for this uh, coalition. But um, it's pretty exciting because we had a we had a, an active uh, local election season just recently. Mm -hmm. And so there I think if I'm counting it correctly, we have four or five new mayors, new mayors yeah. and leadership here mm -hmm. in the Downriver community. Mm -hmm. We have some reelected mayors that I'm really excited about and uh, they're dynamic leaders. Andy Swift, mm -hmm. Mayor of Riverview, just won his election. Mm -hmm. Gail McLeod, uh, mm -hmm. Mayor of Allen Park, she just won her election. So we, we get to continue to work with her mm -hmm. in the Allen Park community. Um, Stephen Rezepa in Trenton was reelected. So we get to work with Stephen and his administration in Trenton. Really excited about that. But new mayors, uh, Troy Cox, as I, I mentioned, in Rockwood is a new mayor. Uh, great new leadership there. Gibraltar, Garrett Schumann is the new mayor and really excited about that. Stephen Beller is a, is a firework. He's dynamic, the new mayor of Flat Rock. I had coffee with him the other day at Big B in Flat Rock, mm -hmm. and he is 100% excited about what we're gonna be doing as a region uh, mm -hmm. with his administration. Mm -hmm. Melvindale, Nicole Shakira has a new mayor. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's a lot of opportunity in this area. We're continuing to work with the great leadership that we've always worked with, and um, you know we're really excited about that, but we have some new ideas that are coming in too, and new partnerships with those new mayors mm -hmm. um, that I think is really gonna help to take Destination Downriver to, the, to that next level. Mm -hmm. You know, leadership is, all, at the end of the day, it's all about leadership. 
Yep. And wherever that leadership comes from, and in most small towns like you're talking about, yep. the leaders are going to be people like the mayors, okay? Yep. But it's so important to get the right person in there. Mm. You know, you mentioned enthusiasm and a spark and, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. That's what you want. Yep. You know, you want somebody supportive like that. Yeah, exactly. Rich? Well, and I think mm -hmm. you know, the, the other thing, and Ron said it earlier, uh, our, our partnerships have uh, mm -hmm. been really a huge boost to us. Mm -hmm. uh, we work hand-in-hand uh, -hand with the folks at the uh, International Wildlife Refuge, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Down Riverling Greenways, and uh, uh, Friends of the Detroit River. Mm -hmm. They've been active with us on a lot of things, including mm -hmm. the... Uh, Tour to Tom, but also on some other stuff that we're planning. We, as Ron mentioned, the Down River YMCA, for instance, we got into a conversation with them, the folks from Down River Link Greenways and the Friends of the Detroit River, about an idea that I stole, basically stole from M22, yeah. uh, a display, an interactive display. Mm -hmm. Because w one of our audiences, one of our chief audiences here, are people who live down here to let them know what's going on mm -hmm. and places they can see and, and experience but also outside the area. Uh, and Mary Bowling from Down River Link Greenways had uh, basically a small concierge effort on their website. We looked at that and thought, you know, we can create these little mini adventures and we need to take that out and put it somewhere that people can see it and interact with it and mm -hmm. say, you know, I'd like to go on that bike ride or I'd like mm -hmm. to experience mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. So it's basically packaging up some of those experiences that people know about down mm -hmm. here and telling them to other people. Mm -hmm. uh, we're looking at an interactive display that will go in the lobby at the YMCA and maybe travel around mm -hmm. some places mm -hmm. because it allows people to engage and find out what else they can do. Absolutely. And take advantage of all the great things that are yeah, out if here. People yeah. don't, if people don't know about it, Ron, they can't yeah. do it. Eh? Exactly. Well, by the way, um, so and speaking of that, mm -hmm. they to the Friends of Detroit River, mm -hmm. um, and I think Down River Green, uh, Link Greenways as well, we mm -hmm. have just invested into a new website for there Destination Down River. It's launched now, it's yes. live, live, and it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, thanks to Tina Walther at Rapport, which is a local mm -hmm. you know, uh, IT company and a uh -huh. member of the chamber. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's, it's, it's a resourceful tool to discover you know, Destination Down River. Which is well, it's yeah, it's we should mention what the website is, destinationdownriver.com. Yeah, that, that <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough one. Uh, but, I mean, that, that's a great example of us taking the visual side of things. I mean, mm -hmm. we, we, we had a very functional, uh, small mm -hmm. presence on, on the web space, but now it's become much more robust and much, much more image-oriented. Mm -hmm. So you, a lot of the videos that we do, these vodcasts are all on there. Uh, everything, if somebody wants to experience what's going on, they can go on that site and see a lot of cool things. Fantastic. Including Fantastic. these podcasts. Including Absolutely. Yeah. And our which UTR is, uh, videos and everything. Which so, is great. Yeah. So have we missed anything, Rich? Uh, Let me check my here? list here, Check your Santa. list. <laughs> Checking it twice. <laughs> I, no, I, I, actually, that hit on a lot of what we've done. It's just a matter of, we want to get the input from people. I mean, right. if they've got a story mm -hmm. to tell, we want to help them tell it. Mm -hmm. It, you know, there's so many cool things that have happened downriver. Mm -hmm. If we don't tell people about it, then well, here's know. a challenge. Mm -hmm. Then, if someone out there has a story that they want us to Absolutely. tell, who do they contact? They, they, you can contact me, or you can contact mm -hmm. Ron. We've got mm -hmm. a, a, a go to the website. Go to the website. Yeah. The website. Yeah. They are, there's a contact message. on the yep. website. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Destinationdownriver.com. Okay. And actually, yep. we put out a call for stories. We want to hear mm -hmm. people's stories. I mean, I just mm -hmm. had one published that Kathy Kane was nice enough. To, mm -hmm. to do for mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. Talked about her experiences growing up downriver. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look back mm -hmm. and look forward. It's amazing the, some of the comparisons you can make. Well, that's fantastic. That was informative, gentlemen. I think <laughs> we've got the word out. And that's about it for 2023 on Destination Downriver. It has been a labor of love. It what do you sure think, has. Every month? Well, thank it has been you're a labor our of love. How about you, know. Rich? You're doing a lot of the heavy lifting. Well, I, I'd rather the heavy lift behind the scenes than here. If this well, was uh, planned appropriately, Sue and Liz would have been here with Ron. So <laughs> yeah, and I, I do want to, I think it's important too that we mention mm -hmm. Sue Trussell and Liz mm -hmm. Henley, the co-chairs yep. yeah. of the coalition. Sue mm -hmm. is the DDA director for Brownstown Township. Mm -hmm. Liz is the uh, economic development director and DDA director for the city of Flat Rock. Mm -hmm. um, and without them and their talent, their effort, this wouldn't be possible. And so we Rich, want to give them a special thank you. You, you mentioned Kathy Kane, and I know she's around behind the camera somewhere. Uh, she's always such a friendly face. To oh, she's right there. Yeah. <laughs> See, she's right there, right there. I want to tell you, everybody out in the public, have a happy 
and joyous holiday season. Thanks to Ron and Rich for coming on the show today and for all the great work that you guys have done in all the hats that you wear, okay? Uh, for Joe Camilleri and Samantha Rickert, who are behind the scenes, I'm Carl Zymack, signing off for 2023 and looking forward to another great year in 2024. Happy holidays. We'll see you in January. Thank you again to our sponsors, Martinson Family of Funeral Homes and Allegra Marketing, with a special thanks to our production partners here at the new Taylor Media Center. Thanks for listening and watching. Please visit our website, destinationdownriver.com, or our Facebook page, and be sure to join us for next month's podcast. 